do you know, I'd forgotten there was that much music in 1992. Really enjoyed that program, and it's sort of woken me up again now. I'd forgotten what it was like staying up until this time of the night, or morning, if you know what I mean. Walking in a little daze along the corridor just now, and came to the, the main doors at reception. Opened the door to take a breath of fresh air, and it's cold out there this morning. It's very bracing, and it will wake you up. If you've just crawled in from a nightclub and you're wondering, who is that and what's he doing there at this time of the morning? Well, this is night time from Meridian and Channel Television. We're going to be keeping you going throughout 1993 with programmes and entertainment for you through the night. If you have just joined us, then on behalf of everyone at Television Centre in Southampton, very, very happy New Year and all the very best for a healthy, happy and prosperous 1993 to you. Do hope you can join us tonight for another uh, round of night time. Three big movies for you tonight, starting at 12 midnight. Midnight, The Witching Hour, and we've got a bit of a spooky movie for you tonight, starring Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Also, Roy Castle's in this one. It's Dr. Terror's House of Horrors, and it starts at 12 midnight. Stephanie Powers is in movie number two. That's A Death in Canaan at a quarter to two. And then Travis Logan, DA, stars Vic Moreau at 3.50. So three movies for your entertainment. Hope you're going to join us for night time as we see you from Friday into a Saturday morning tonight. Well in a moment or so, before we hand over to the new format of breakfast television, GMTV, we're going to bring you up to date with the latest news. ITN with the morning news in just a couple of moments. Betty drinks Carly Black Label. Carly what? Carly Black Label. It's brewed in England to 4.1% for fuller flavor. And because it's the number one selling beer over there, <laughs> you ain't gonna find enough back here to spit with. Yep. Ain't no wonder at their Carly. I just don't know why young people complain about having to wear condoms against HIV virus and AIDS. Look what we had to put up with. I called it Geronimo, my friend. Compared with the condoms of today, it was like wearing the inner tube of a cycle. It wasn't disposable like the modern condoms. It was designed to be used again and again. <laughs> It was like having a bath with your socks on, but it never stopped me in no way. <laughs> 